They say the end of the world is coming. Oh, shit. No way. Security! I'm sure you've played Half-Life 2. I mean, I'm not sure at all. I've met a lot of people who haven't played it, but I'm sure you've heard of Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 was the mega successful sequel to Half-Life, redefining the first-person shooter as its predecessor had done six years prior. Of course, it's aged like milk, probably. Every gun was made terrible because they wanted to use the gravity gun and therefore see their vaunted physics engine at all times. It's really, Half-Life 2 is a tech demo. A good tech demo, but a lot of what it does is just for the sake of doing shit. Now, Exit from the Earth, alongside many, many games in the latter half of the 2000s, is heavily derivative of Half-Life 2. It essentially is Half-Life 2 as designed by drunken stereotypes of Russian people. It, to their credit, the guns in Exodus actually kill things when you shoot them. You can move shit around, you can, it starts with the extended walk and talk sequence in the lobby. Critically to this section, they have vehicle sections that go on an hour too long and feature a lot of gimmicks, such as this magnet bit. If you played Half-Life 2, you've played Highway 17, a chapter that entirely revolves around a driving a dune buggy with Wazda, getting out every 20 feet to disable a force field, and then driving another 20 feet, occasionally getting lost along the way because there's no real clear path a lot of time. Please note that Highway 17 features multiple gunship fights, because Parallax Art Studios definitely noticed that. Now, I'm not a fan of Highway 17. I, I, it's probably one of the weaker parts of Half-Life 2, as far as I'm concerned. But comparing it to the third of Exodus you spend driving, yes, you spend an entire third of Exodus from the Earth driving, You'll appreciate the thought and care Valve put into their driving sections a lot. That's the value of games like Exodus from the Earth. You can't truly appreciate the good or even passable art without a low point of comparison. Art like this can make you consider things you never would have otherwise. A way hey, that a well-crafted piece never could. You can learn a lot more from Exodus from the Earth or something on that level than you could from something like Half-Life 2. Okay, I think I've probably stalled enough. Let's get in back into Exodus from the Earth. Exodus from the Earth. Can't believe it landed on my fucking car. Doesn't that just beat the fucking bad? Star wipe. Oh shit, here we go 
again. Six hours later. Jumping on them, hate them, mate. When I do that 
that song, your boy, I need to live, they crack that thing now. You, I'm jacking on you, I'm jacking on you. And if we get the fight, then I'm cocking on you, I'm cocking on you. You catch me at your local party, yes, I crack it every day. Haters get mad, cause I got me some baby.
So I think I should use this as an example of the level design. You see this whole shanty town they have down here? Ladders, shacks, supplies, a bunch of signposting say go this way. So you think you obviously need to circumnavigate this to find a way to get the car across, right? Maybe you need to drop something to make a bridge, like some construction equipment. 
Maybe they took that stupid shit with the magnet straight out of Half-Life 2. Maybe you have to create a ramp. Jump ball over all this. Maybe there's a teleporter or something on the other side. Maybe they're fucking with you. But no, no. Surely not even a bunch of demented, bitter, hateful gulag prisoners would mislead the player that maliciously. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nope, they did. This is all entirely meaningless, actually. See if you can guess where I'm actually supposed to go. This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my life. Did you guess I was supposed to jump into the featureless pond to my left? Look for a hard to see staircase into the pond, climb up, jump over a barbed wire fence, and go inside a building, entirely abandoning my vehicle that the game keeps telling me I absolutely need to progress? If you did, you're either full of shit or you work for Parallax Art Studios. How'd you get here? Fire! Fire! Who the hell are you? How'd you get here? Who the hell are you? How'd you get here?
I just work.
many months later. One hour later... Two hours later... Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards.
just wasted ten seconds of your life. play another exciting round of where the fuck do I go? So according to the official walkthrough, I'm at the small area with two turrets and special forces. Therefore, I must walk along the narrow path to the opposite side of the rock. What rock? I don't fucking know. Do you give up? Do you give up? I'll tell you the answer. You're looking at it. Yeah, you're supposed to see that.
later. Hey guys, good morning. Ah! Twenty minutes later.
ticket. Are you complaining? Восток один. Go save the universe. Суприем Восток один. Зажигание, как понял, кедр взлет. Десять. Суприем Восток один. Обратный бесится отсчет И поехали, услышим мы вот Супьем, как слышно, это кедр вот первая ступень Отделилась и полет идет в расчет Пусть весь мир увидит этот наш маневр Суприем, как слышно, это кедр Странно этот мир я почувствовал весь Звезд вокруг меня поистине не счесть Но здесь, в этом замкнутом пространстве Oh, no! Nah. 